After learning how to solve for the arc length, your next lesson in pre-calculus is about the area of a sector. Given a circle of radius r and a central angle with measure theta radians, the area of the sector is given by 1 half r squared theta. Example, find the area of a sector of a circle with central angle pi over 4 radians if the radius of the circle is 20 centimeters. The given in this problem is 20 and theta is pi over 4. So to illustrate that, that's the sector with central angle pi over 4 and radius 20. So what is the area of that sector? So going back to the formula, A equals 1 half R squared theta, we just need to substitute the values. We know the value of R, that is 20, so replace R with 20 and theta with pi over 4. Squaring 20 will give us 400 and then simplifying this we have a 400 pi over 8 and 400 a over 8 can be simplified to 50 pi. Therefore the area of the sector is 50 pi square centimeters. If you'll give pi a value of 3.14, multiply it to 50, the approximate value of 50 pi is 157 square centimeters. Another example. Find the area of a sector of a circle with central angle 7 pi over 6 radians if the radius of the circle is 6. So we are given here with 6, the radius 6, and theta is 7 pi over 6. So to illustrate that, we have this 7 pi over 6, and the radius of the sector of the circle is 6. What is the area of the sector? So we should always go back to our formula that the area of a sector is equal to 1 half r squared theta. So substituting values, r is 6, so replace r with 6 and theta with 7 pi over 6. And then simplify. 6 squared is 36. So you have 1 half times 36 times 7 pi over 6. And we can cancel 36 and 6 there. We can divide both of them by 6 and we will be left with 6 here. And then, if you multiply 6 times 7 pi, you will have 42 pi. And then in the denominator, we have 2. So 42 over 2 is 21 pi. So the answer is 21 pi square units. And the approximate value of that is 66 square centimeters. This is obtained by multiplying 21 with 3.14. Another example. Find the area of a sector of a circle with central angle that measures 80 degrees if the radius of the circle is 6 meters. So the given in this problem are radius which is equal to 6 and theta which is equal to 80 degrees. So to illustrate that, we have the illustration here on the right. So theta is 80 degrees and the radius is 6 meters. What is the area of that sector? Since the given measure of the angle is in degrees, we need to convert that to radians. So converting 80 degrees to radians, we will have 80 times pi over 180 will give you 80 pi over 180. 
and then dividing both the numerator and denominator by 20 to simplify we will have 4 pi over 9 so this 80 degrees is equivalent to 4 pi over 9 and that is the value that we're going to use in the equation so the equation is a equals 1 half r squared theta and r is given to be 6 so we will have a equals 1 half 6 squared times 4 pi over 9 and 6 squared is 36 and we can cancel 9 there so we will be left with 4 and then 4 times 4 pi is 16 pi and then we have 2 on the denominator so 16 pi over 2 can be simplified to 8 pi since 16 divided by 2 is 8 therefore the area of the sector is 8 pi square meters or that is approximately 25 square meters Example 4. Find the area of a sector of a circle with central angle that measures 150 degrees if the radius of the circle is 12 meters. So we have here an angle that measures again in degrees. So we need to convert that to radians. So the given here is radius which is 12 and the central angle which is 150 degrees. So, what is the area of the sector? So, to convert 150 degrees, we need to multiply it by pi over 180. So, we will get... Okay, we can just cancel. So, divide both 150 and 180 by 30. So, 150 divided by 30 is 5 and 180 divided by 30 is 6. So, we have... 5 pi over 6. So this 150 degrees is 5 pi over 6 in radians. And then we will use the formula for the area of the sector. So we will replace R with 12 and theta with 5 pi over 6. So 12 squared is 144. So we have area equals 1 half times 144 times 5 pi over 6. And then we can multiply 144 and 5 pi to get 725. And for the denominator, we have 2 times 6, that is 12. And then dividing this, 720 divided by 12, we have 60. So copy pi. So the area is 60 pi square meters. 60 pi square meters is approximately 188.5 square centimeters. That is by multiplying 60 by 3.14. Example number 5. Find the radius of a circle in which a central angle of 2 pi over 5 radians determines a sector of area 5 pi square centimeters. So the given here are the central angle and the area of the sector. And this time, what is unknown is the radius. So theta is 2 pi over 5 and the area is 5 pi. So we are asked of the radius of the circle. So same formula. A equals 1 half R squared theta. So replace A and theta with their values. So you will have, since A is 5 pi, replace A here with 5 pi. Copy 1 half, copy R squared, and replace theta with 2 pi over 5. And then simplify. So 2 can be canceled there. So you will be left with 5 pi on the left and on the right you will have r squared times pi over 5. Since we are solving for r, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 5 over pi. So 
so you will have on the left you can cancel pi so 5 times 5 that is 25 and here on the right you can cancel pi and pi and 5 and 5 and you will be left with r squared and then taking the square root of both sides you will get 5 equals r so the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters Example 6. Find the radius of a circle in which a central angle of 3 pi over 2 radians determines a sector of area 48 pi square centimeters. So the given here are theta which is equal to 3 pi over 2 and the area of a sector that is 48 pi. So 3 pi over 2 is this. So that's 270 degrees. And we are asked of the radius. So same formula, a equals 1 half r squared theta. So replace a with 48 pi and theta with 3 pi over 2. And then you can multiply 1 times 3 pi is still 3 pi and then 2 times 2 is 4. Since we are solving for r, multiply both sides by 4 over 3 pi. And then you can cancel pi and pi on the left side of the equation. So you will have 192 over 3. And then on the right, 4 and 4 will be cancelled, 3 pi and 3 pi. That's r squared. And then 192 divided by 3 is 64. And then taking the square root of both sides, you will get r equals 8 or 8 equals r. So the radius of this circle is 8 centimeters. Number 7. In a circle with radius 20 centimeters, a central angle, theta, determines a sector of area 20 pi square centimeters. Find the measure of theta in radians. So the given, this time, are the radius and the area of the sector. So, going to the formula, replace A with 20 pi and R with 20. So you will have 20 pi equals 1 half times 20 squared times theta. And 20 squared is 400. So you have 20 pi equals 200 pi since one half of 400 is 200 theta. So dividing both sides by 200, you will get 20 pi over 200 equals theta. And then simplifying that, dividing both by 20, you will get 10 on the denominator. So theta is pi over 10. So that is the measure of the central angle in radians, pi over 10.